good afternoon. It's a great pleasure to have you all here. I'm, I'm quite excited to talk not just about one product, but we're going to launch three devices from the Lenovo family today. But before we do that, before my colleagues come on stage and talk about that, I'd like to give you a glimpse of what Lenovo has been doing for the last 30 years. What's been the legacy of Lenovo, our current business performance, and what's our focus for the next year. It's been a transformation of 30 years for Lenovo. It didn't happen overnight. It's been a combination of strategic investments over the 30 year journey, three decades of innovation and market leadership. It's a truly global DNA when we speak about Lenovo. It was born in China. It's developed in the US and Europe and it's pioneered in emerging markets. The culture here is future facing. It has made us possible for bringing all the building blocks of what we call intelligent transformation. And what's intelligent transformation? Intelligent transformation is beyond PC for us. So three big things are intelligent transformation for us. Number one is the PC to continue growing profitably. The mobile or the mobile business group to be the next generator of revenue and grow. And the third one is our DCG, our data server business to grow. Not just this, we're also now focusing on the next big waves of innovations which we see, which is cloud, cloud and infrastructure, smart service, smart IoT solutions, and artificial intelligence. Any intelligent transformation is all about what you give to the consumer. We've been forging smarter devices through not just great engineering, but also through collaborations. And I think that's a big one. It's not just about engineering, it's collaborations. You will see examples of this both in the PC side of the business as well as the mobile side. Our consumer PC comes with Amazon Alexa, Microsoft Cortana, and also Lenovo Smart Assist. If you look at the Lenovo and Motorola side of the business, the Motorola Z3 and the Lenovo puts AI at your fingertips with dual depth sensing, smart camera, and contextual messaging. With Google Lens, you can augment your world by recognizing objects and then go and search for them and buy them. Not just this, self-learning artificial intelligence in the yoga book you can enjoy virtual typing experience that fits you. This is truly intelligent transformation. What consumers seek for, we give it. Intelligent transformation needs a global scale, needs investments. And that's why we have operations in 60 countries and we do business in more than 160 countries. We have 15 R&D locations worldwide including the United States, China, Japan, and Brazil. And what excites me most is we are proudly saying we are investing $1.2 billion in the next wave, artificial intelligence. AI, it's the future. AI R&D centers are there in four locations right now from Lenovo. North Carolina, Morrisville, China, we have a center in Beijing. We have a center in Germany, in Stuttgart, and Taiwan. Taipei, we have a center. So artificial intelligence, next big wave, big investments by Lenovo as a company. It's also supported through a workforce of 54,000 employees. And out of this, like we are in the cutting edge of technology space, 3,200 are engineers, scientists, and researchers. I, while we are doing this whole big intelligent transformation, or what we call as an acceleration in this, we also are delivering great business results. That's extremely critical. Uh, I'm proud to say we are number one in PCs. We have a 24.6% market share. We have turned around our mobile business group. We are profitable for the last four quarters in the mobile business group. Uh, in Latin America, we are a number two in the mobiles. And in North America, we are the fastest growing OEM. We are growing 37% faster than the market in world Not just that, our data center group continues to grow revenue 
while building new capabilities that will fuel this whole intelligent transformation. Personally, it gives me great pride to say that we are number one on the list of top 500 supercomputers. So nearly 35 to 40 percent of the world's supercomputers are Lenovo's. And that's what the brand stands for. Cutting edge innovation in this new field. Coming to results, as many of you have seen, from the most recent earnings which we announced, we've been showing solid performance in terms of both top line and bottom line. Our revenue grew year on year for the last eight quarters. Twelve and a half billion dollars in revenue for us are in top line. Our operating income doubled from 81 million at the same time last quarter to 162 million. Our pre-tax income went to 240 million dollars, which is a hundred million dollar shift from last year to this year. The Motorola and the Lenovo mobile business grew 15 percent faster than what the market was growing in value. And we are very happy to say, from a mobile perspective, we have shown a very strong trajectory of profitable growth. And it is now four quarters of profitable growth. And this is a hundred million dollar in pre-tax income over last year. Now this comes to the next question. What's next from a mobile business group perspective? Once we've seen profitability as a whole, the next is to focus on emerging markets and therefore India is a pillar to the emerging markets. India is extremely critical because of the way the smartphone market is going in India and we are number five globally for the mobile business group in terms of volume and value. We, and I continue to show this slide because this is core to our DNA in India. We will continue to make products which are made for India. While I will not take the zing out of what the next step is, you next presentations are, I'm going to tell you that what my colleague David is going to present to you is all about what is done for India. It's made for India. So the three Lenovo products have a lot of software customizations made for India. That's our principal philosophy. Second, made in India. We will continue to focus on local manufacturing. We have a plant in Chennai. We have done localization, we have an SMP line, and we'll continue to invest there. The Lenovo kit and note, which comes under this bond to place, 100% manufacturing in India. We've been constantly working to bring the best in differentiated experience, offline or online. Strategic partnerships, key for us, every time I mention this, and one partner who comes to mind is Flipkart. Lenovo launched exclusively with Flipkart last year. We continue the relationship. Motorola was launched with Flipkart years back, four years back, and we're continuing to strengthen the relationship. And finally, we will have a strong portfolio with both brands. We will play Lenovo, we will play Motorola. We will play the dual brand strategy, as I mentioned to you. Motorola will play with three series, the Motorola One, the Motorola G, and the Moto E. In parallel, we will continue to bring Lenovo products for our consumers. Collectively, we will have products that offer great value proposition to all our consumers. We identify the needs and give it through either Lenovo or Motorola. What we're going to announce today is one each from this series. We have the Z series, which is for the technology enthusiasts. We have the K series of Lenovo, which caters to the current youth who are looking for premium features at value for money. And we have the A series, which is the budget segment. So one product each from this segment is what we are announcing today. With that, I end my presentation. Thank you.